Okay, so it's time to talk about opening three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush anime series. An opening that brought forth some new, crazy, insane looking visuals that helped to bring a lot of mystery, hype and excitement for things to come in the future. That's exactly what an opening is supposed to do to any show. So we're starting off with a duel between Yuhi and Yudius, with Yumi present giving us this kind of dream that our heroes are wanting to achieve slash bring back. Now, we know this has to be a dream slash a vision for the future because a park is in this scene with her non-box outfit. So this can't be before the events of the ending of season two. Plus, it's interesting how they seemingly make Yudius win. Um, plus, it's interesting how they seemingly make Yuhi win this duel, even though it's only a friendly. Seeing the new Ace monsters was kind of cool as we head on to the next scene, and it did make me like Daisuke Chidori even more, as that look of cheekiness and playfulness. That sassy personality that it gives off. Again, I love seeing it when these shows give the monsters personality. So, more points in my opinion. As for transfer move power, again, we've not really seen that monster very much. But again, I like the fact they're giving focus to it. Making me believe that we're going to see it more in the future. We then move to a scene where we see faces of those we've left behind. Either to stay on Earth or who have faded slash died throughout the series. But I did find it very interesting how they seem to linger on Kawaido a lot, making me think that something important relating to his character is going to play a significant role again in the future moving forward. So I'm going to be looking out for anything that's Kawaido related. I do think it's kind of fitting though because we do have this parallel where he was all about sort of light and now we have the dark men who are all about the darkness. So we kind of eclipse the light out to bring over the darkness. The little clip with the dark men was cool, but we needed to have more Zanette screen time. Now the next bit with Yumu floating slash falling through space, I thought was a really beautiful scene as well. And the fact they included Yuhi in here catching her was a great visual as it reminds us of the connection that the twins share and the possibility of their telepathic link returning to the story to help kind of clarify a few details. Like, if Yuhi does bump into the cat with the red ribbon, will it trigger that telepathic connection that the twins have shown throughout the series? If so, then we have our answer as to who the cat is, or even who the Dark Meister is. Now, this pose that Yumu presented herself in, in the next shot, was super cute, but it is a pose that's very similar to that of Seven's Road Witch and Seven's Road Charm. Which, which we only see the visual of them using this type of pose when they are summoned. This could be playing to the fact again that during the ending duel of season two, we had Yumu being presented as the avatar for Seven's Road Witch when she was on Yuga's side. So I kind of like how they might be drawing back to this idea. Then we have this lovely, gorgeous thumbnail looking shot between Yudius and the Dark Meister showing us what we could expect in the future from a duel wise. Obviously we know Yudius is kind of, well, is the main protagonist. So he's gonna be facing the main villain, which at this moment in time is the Dark Meister, even if she doesn't feel like a villain. So seeing this was just awesome. And again, it gives us a bit of hype for what's to come. We then switch quickly over though to Yudius doing a draw. And in this draw sequence, it does look like he's doing a destiny draw or a shining draw, making me kind of nostalgic thinking back to the Zexal days. We then, we then follow up with another montage of Ace Monsters, and this is whatever, but those shots of Manabu, Yuhi, and Epark, all with their new Ace Monsters, looked insane. Epark was in sync with her new monster, Chidori, uh, giving off that evil, malicious laugh that they both share, which is just adorable, but also crazy cool to look at. Yuhi looking as coolest as he ever has done before. And I love how they're running with his new fusion being his ace monster. As let's be honest, we know it's a fusion of Bluetooth and Joint Tech Rex, 
and this version of that fusion is the better version out of the two. So I like the fact is that we're going with this one. Even though I do believe we see the other one in the opening as well throughout it. I was a little surprised to see Eternal Galactica Oblivion fighting Dark Matter Dragon, as we've just seen that monster lose to Dark Matter Requiem. But I'm guessing that Udius will get another Ace Fusion monster that's going to help him um, help him win the duel in the end. Either he gets Contact Fusion and he has a new Contact Transit Rainamu something or other. And they don't want to spoil it. And putting a silhouette in there would kind of A, ruin what it would look like, but B, just look a little bit clunky. So I'm kind of guessing that's why they chose to go with Eternal Galactica Oblivion in this scene, even though it's probably... Again, one of Yudus' strongest monsters, but we've just seen it not be strong enough. We then finally end this opening with Yudus standing in a flower field, and I believe it's the same flower field that we saw at the end of the Yudus versus Suijo duel round number two at the end of season one. I could be wrong, but... So yeah, I believe we have seen that field again in multiple sort of occasions throughout Go Rush, so I feel like they really like using this as a visual. It's beautiful to look at, don't get me wrong, but again, hopefully this means that spring, which brings good things, is soon to come. Overall, I really like this opening. It's a shame that we didn't get it for so long throughout this arc, but it would have spoiled a lot of things. So for that, I'm happy to have waited. The visuals did look insane and they suited the characters perfectly. Plus, the combination of the visuals and music helped to give off that fun, energetic atmosphere that makes you want to get up and rush to. Which, hey, the anime is a big promotion for the game, isn't it? So bring it over to the UK and let's start rush dueling. So what do you think of this opening? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you thought something else or have any predictions for future things to happen moving forward based on what you saw in this opening. Other than that though, have a great day, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, alligator, matane, goodbye.